All right, so you guys know we've been looking at building this esports team. There's a lot of different factors that go into it, uh, and it's really just an esports gaming division. We are looking for talent not only to stream gaming content, also we're going to need a coach and people that really know the esports industry inside and out. About to do a call with UTA, which is an esports streaming agency. They manage different content creators in the streaming space and gaming space. They actually approached us. I'm not really sure what they want to talk with me about. I have a feeling it has something to do with BitBoy Crypto and maybe the crossover between crypto and gaming. I just want to pick their brains and tell them what we're doing with the esports stuff, see if there's anything we can help. This is a uh, acquaintance through a couple different contacts of mine that set up this meeting. So let's jump into it, see what we find and see if it's helpful. Alex, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can. All right, it's a miracle. We're actually doing this. Definitely. Sorry, uh, sorry, I was so tough to get a hold of. Uh, it was one of those like I was going back and forth in email, and I thought, oh, you know what, text is going to make this so much easier, and I was clearly, and then it fell off my list, and then I was clearly wrong. Apologies on my end as well. <laughs> no, it's that's been cool. A, a hectic couple weeks for sure. But yeah, I'm glad we finally connected. Yeah, for sure. So. Uh, you know, I know Andy set this up. I'm not sure. I was just telling somebody else. I'm not sure what exactly you guys had in mind. Uh, so I want to start there and then kind of tell you a little bit about what we've got going on and some of my ideas and see if there's crossover or what helps and et cetera. So I know a little bit about UTA, but not a ton. So yeah. yeah. So UTA is a global talent agency. Um, we're, I think at about 25 different departments spanning from motion pictures, TV, uh, we have live comedy, music, uh, we acquired Clutch Sports, uh, LeBron's agency, um, to create our sports department. Um, and also we are in eSports, which is where I sit. Right. Um, so our, our group, we call it eSports, it's really more live streaming. Um, so we represent pretty much anybody that dabbles on Twitch, YouTube, uh, mixer back in the day, right? Um, pretty much anything that has to do with just content creation, we have our hands in. Uh, so it's not necessarily yeah. gaming; it's any streamer of any kind. Like it's, he could be a music, they could be streaming music, they could be streaming gaming, they could be streaming exactly whatever. Yeah. Okay. Cool. More primarily gaming. Um, so I represent like some of the top Call of Duty players. Uh, I just signed the number one Sims streamer. If you can believe that people are watching The Sims, um, it's, that's interesting. I think. Crypto in itself is going to become more of a mainstream place where all of these blue chip sponsors are going to eventually find homes. Yeah, no, I agree. So when you say represent, that's mostly represent for brand deals, more or less? Uh, more or less. Um, so we kind of bifurcate our business in a way. So there's like a lot of different esports pros. So we also kind of serve as pseudo sports agents. Got it. So we will do like your team deal. So if you're familiar with esports orgs, We'll do team deals with TSM, 100 Thieves, Space Clan, Team Liquid, all of those. Um, but then on the other side, we definitely, our forte is definitely brand sponsorship. So we'll go out and we'll sell out each category or whichever category it's that the streamers want to sell and try to maximize their value outside of what teams would be able to do. We are about to start our gaming content, but that's going to be through another one of our brands hit networks. So we've got another channel that's got 100 something K and that's really our agent we're like a content marketing agency so we help right. creators with all sorts of things basically getting more content out onto more platforms uh branding website you know all the different things you need as a creator we kind of are that back-end machine whether it's clipping or scheduling or you know a variety of different things some people it's just same thing we manage crypto sponsors for other people and you know deal flow and speaking engagements all that sort of stuff so that's yeah. some that's something we're looking to build and we're looking to branch out in, outside of uh, crypto a little bit into crypto adjacent media uh, verticals like music, like gaming, obviously gaming being our number one thing. We're going hard into that direction. Um, and so what I'm looking to do, like basically I want, our goal for this year is to either build or buy an esports team. And I need somebody that, know, that knows this space inside and out and you know, to kind of quarterback this project going into this we want to build up hit gaming I, I don't know where it's going to go but my goal is to find somebody with some kind of talent on camera talent streaming to kind of 
be the face of hit gaming as it develops. You know, like it, it's me for right now, but it can't be me because I don't have the bandwidth to build it out the way it needs to be built out. I would probably need to know more about like what your goals are for the org. Is it to be kind of like a competitive org where you're going to maybe buy a franchise spot in one of these leagues? Or are you going more so, I'd say, the FaZe Clan Hunt and Thieves route where you're gonna be more of a content house and try to create content series that you're gonna eventually sell? Or is it a hybrid model? Um, 100 Thieves yeah. would be the closest one to what I've seen. We see gaming and music as the next two biggest industries that are gonna get disrupted by blockchain. You know, so we're trying, we've got, we've got a partner through Akon and them to do the music side of things. So we've got some good strategic partners on the music side to do a right. NFT label. Now I wanted to start doing the same thing on the gaming side. We know it's probably two to five years until a lot of these blockchain games really hit their stride, but we want to be ahead of that curve doing, playing some play to earn games and mostly AAA games for now, and then slowly adding more blockchain games in as we go because we think play to earn is eventually gonna be the future of a lot of different things. Uh, we just don't know what that timing looks like. I love this stuff, I've been in this forever. Half of the reason I got into content was to get paid to play video games, right? That's what everybody wants to do. So I've been trying to crack that yeah. nut for about the last three or four years. So far, I figured out how to get paid for crypto content. I'm still working on the paid for gaming stuff, but I know it's coming, so I want, We've got a runway there. We don't have to be make a lot of money on it right off the rip. But yeah, I mean, when I did some basic research, when you know, as far as picking a game, Valorant looked like lowest barrier to entry competition-wise. You got a lot of players. You got some decent prize pools, whatever. You can get in different tournaments. It's not like the big, big ones. But, you know, Rocket League was another one that I felt like was approachable from a startup competition. I'm looking for anybody that knows the industry really, really well and would be interested in building an esports team, content facing first, competition is you know the cherry on top. So yeah, that's kind of where my head's at. I just wanted to kind of bounce that off of you and see if there's anything there. I think in terms of just like getting it off the ground, I mean, for the most part, if you look at esports orgs and even the top creators will tell you this is they aren't that financially successful. Right. Um, so that's why you see a phase clan or a hundred thieves except they're kind of taking that model of we need to be content facing first and then we'll have everything in trickle into that. Yeah. Um, that's so really what we are. We're, we're a content marketing agency. So it's really, it's gaming yeah. content. What we know with crypto is our viewership's very cyclical, right? Like when the, when the market's hot, we got all, we can capture a lot of attention and now we know for the next year and a half, people are going to be less interested in crypto, you know, but gaming and music, people are always interested in gaming and music. So if we can slowly build up attention in those, we know those are the highest competition categories, anything entertainment related, gaming related, music related, you're competing with, you know, the bar stools and the, you know, like the big money people that are going after these spaces. We understand that. So it's more of a slow play, but we think it's a good, basically diversification of profits more or less like we're moving our profits from Bitcoin we're investing it into an esports content infrastructure that we think will continue to pay for years and years to come well yeah I think this is a worthwhile conversation uh, well let's just kind of put our heads together and you know keep it going over email and see where it goes Definitely. awesome too, Jack. yeah good reconnecting and uh, sorry again that it took so long but uh, you know hopefully it goes somewhere fun Definitely.